Hey everyone, so I'm about to show you the easiest way to find your horse's favorite treat in Horse Isle 3. Now this method does piggyback off uh, Pathfinder's Guide. This is Editing Shad here, and I actually meant to say Pawn's Guide to treat finding. Uh, this was a guide made by Pawn, not by Pathfinder. I have made this mistake several times in the video, so I will try to correct myself through text every time I make this mistake again that you can find in the Horse Owl forums, but this method requires no math on your part. You just have to record which flavors your horse is like based on tester treats. So I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. Uh, first, what we have to do, we actually have to get our ingredients for each flavor. Now, this is gonna suck, but you're gonna need ingredients for every single flavor. So, there is a guide on which treats give what flavors, um, in the forums, but this is my guide here. This is what I collect um, from for each flavor, which ingredient and which biome I get it from. This is the easiest just because where my club is located. I will link the full guide though in the description. And you can either use, <laughs> uh, I noticed a giant typo. Um, that's supposed to be lettuce. That is, I don't know what that is, but this is lettuce. So let's change that. Um, and I don't know how to spell lettuce, so there you go. That is lettuce. <laughs> um, but anywho, this is what I use. So you're going to go ahead and gather your ingredients, and you're going to need all of these. So next is going to be making your treats. Now, these tester treats is what I call them, are only three ingredient treats. And I think it's this tab. Yes. Yes are only three ingredient treats, and basically the only purpose they serve is to give you a number. So, to for these tester treats, what you're gonna do, you're gonna pick four flavors. You can pick any four flavors you want. Um, what I have on the screen now are just um, some of my favorite four flavor combos because they're easy to remember. Um, but what I'm gonna explain first is um, how this Kind of how this algebra thing works. Now, you don't have to completely understand it. That's totally fine. Um, but all the computer cares about are letters. And all we care about are flavors. So, when you put a letter to a flavor, the computer can read that and be like, Hey, I like letters. And you're like, Hey, I like flavors. So, if you have a letter to a flavor, then all you have to do is just substitute that letter for that flavor and boom, it can solve the equations for you. Now, um, what I have at the very top is just algebraically what these are going to look like when you put them in the system. Um, so if you look at the top, number one is A plus B plus C. And if you look at these categories I have, let's say um, I like the four Fs, which is fatty, fibrous, flavored, fruity. The number one is going to be fatty, which is A, fibrous, is B and flavor to C and that's so on and so forth. Um, I recommend, you know, you keep these handy. And like I said, you can use any flavor, any four flavors. You could use any variables. You know, you don't have to use A, B, C, and D. Um, you could switch those out for different letters and make them all different if that's easiest for you. I just use A, B, and C and D um, all throughout because uh, it helps me, it's easier for me. So, um, now you can actually go and make your treats. So I'm going to go ahead and go in game over here. Let's just tab over here. And I got little Oliver that I'm actually going to go ahead and do uh, treat finding for. So you can do this right along with me if you like. So, and I actually have uh, those flavor combinations written on paper. So I'm going to go ahead and follow my sheet of paper. And we're going to go and do the four Fs, which is fatty, fibrous, flavored, fruity. So if you want to follow along. Um, also use these four flavors. So, number one, the first treat is going to be fatty, fibrous flavor. So let's go ahead and do that. Fatty, fibrous, flavored. We'll make that. The second treat, fatty, fibrous, fruity. Fatty, fibrous, fruity. Third treat, fatty, flavored, fruity. Fatty, flavored, fruity. <clears throat> and number four is fibrous, flavored, fruity. Uh, fiber is flavored fruity. Okay. So now we have all our tester treats. So uh, the next step is going to be find your equation solver. Now that's really vague, so I'm going to show you what I mean. 
Um, these are our, what we're doing right now is solving for equations. So you can literally just type in any equation solver. There's so many different ones. Um, everybody probably knows this one right here, which is uh, Wolfgram Alpha. Um, that's part of the one you used in math class to make your life easier. That's basically what we're doing. We're going to use this to make our life easier when it comes to treat finding because nobody likes math. Um, but what I end up using was this uh, Simbo Lab. I will actually link that in the description if you just want to use the same program I'm using. Um, and I actually have the tab open here. Let's go ahead and erase all that because we want to start from scratch. So if you don't get to this page when you um, go to this website, what I'm going to do actually is just do this. Okay. So this is, sorry, this, um, that was a little pop-up. Um, but this is what you're going to go to. Now, it already says equations. You don't have to do anything else. <laughs> um, this is where you want to be is right here. And this is the spot where you're going to type in your fancy stuff, okay? Now, I'm going to go ahead and pre-fill this. And all I'm going to pre this, pre oh my god, I can't speak, pre-fill this with is this top portion right here without the one, two, and three, four. That just, you know, that's just a numbering way. But we're going to go ahead and type in just A plus B plus C equals and so on and so forth. Bleh, so on and so forth. I really cannot speak. Please forgive me. <laughs> so A plus B plus C equals. Now we're going to go ahead and put a comma here. We will fill that in eventually. Um, but we're just going to go ahead and fill this in right now so it's easier on us later. Okay. And then we got A plus C plus D equals, and then last but not least, B plus C plus, whoops, plus D equals. Now that looks good. A plus B plus C, A plus B plus D, A plus C plus D, B plus C plus D. Cool. That sounds like a lot of stuff. Like I said, as long as you put in these four combinations, you'll be good. And again, you can substitute any variable, A plus B plus C and D. I just like those letters. So now that we got this pre-filled in, now comes the fun part. We can go in game and we can start giving these treats to our horses. Now, this is the part that comes becomes important because you have to record the right number. Wow, I am clicking on all the wrong things. So, there's 11 total flavors. There's going to be four favorite flavors, two hated, and five meh. All right. What we're doing is trying to put a number to, in this case, Oliver's response, but your horse's response. So, um, it goes as follows. You know, if it refuses a treat, it'll say horse huffs and shakes their head. That's going to be either negative one or negative two. And that's because even if you give your horse one favorite flavor, but there's a hated flavor in there, it will actually remove that favorite flavor and make it appear as a meh flavor. Um, so we gave these numerical values because um, it actually it actually subtracts, if that makes sense. So you don't really have to think about that. Just keep in mind, just write down exactly what you see. And the following is, uh, if you get a meh, that's going to equal zero. If you get a yum, um, that's going to be one, two yums, two, three yums, three. All right. Easy enough, right? So we're going to go in game. And we're going to just go from one through four. So um, the first combination of treats is fatty, fibrous, flavored. Because remember, we did our four Fs. So I'm going to go up to the little Oliver over here, go to treat, and look for fatty, fibrous, flavored. Fatty, fiber, fatty, fibrous, flavored. There we go. Um, little tiny. Okay, so I got one yum from that. So that equals one. So we'll go back to our equation calculator, and all we got to do is just type in one. Uh, next, go back here, go to treat, 
And our next one is fatty, fibrous, fruity. Fatty, fibrous, fruity. Got another one, yum. And we'll go ahead and put in another one. And we'll repeat the process. Uh, I do not want to fall asleep, thank you. Um, third one, fatty, flavored, fruity. Fatty, flavored, fruity. There we go. Meh. Alrighty. So that's going to be a zero. Alright, last but not least, fibrous flavored fruity. So we got fibrous flavored fruity, which is right here. Another yum. I like seeing yums. Alrighty. So here comes the cool part. So we have all our values for all the equations, right? So now when we hit go and give it a minute, this will solve the equation for us. And this is the part that makes this the easiest method to treat find because you don't have to do math. You just let this do all the work and the hardest part you have to do is give the horses the treats and record the right numbers. So this is a lot of mambo jumbo on the screen, but what you're looking at is um, this is the equation right here and then semicolon and then these are your values right here. So it will tell you, and again, the values you recorded uh, for the equation when you gave your horse a treat um, are the same values that you see right here. So what this tells us is since A equals fatty, that means that fatty was a meh. Since C equals flavored, um, flavored was a meh. And B was fibrous. So that means fibrous is actually a favorite since there's a one. And D is also a meh, which was fruity. So out of this, we got one favorite flavor. And that's fine. That happens. So what we're going to do now is we got to do this exact same formula, but with four different flavors. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to write down that fibrous is one of Oliver's favorite flavors. And I'm going to write that down so I don't forget, because I will. Alrighty, so now that we got that, we got three more favorite flavors to look for. So let's go back to our key and figure out which other floor we want it for. Wow, I can't talk. We want to do. I think I'm going to go with the four S's. So that's going to be savory, sour, starchy, and sweet. So we got to go right back up to crafting our treats. Uh, so let's go ahead and go back to our crafting station and go ahead and make our 4S treats. And we'll start off with savory, sour, starchy. Uh, savory, sour, sweet. And then savory, starchy, sweet. And then sour, starchy, sweet, wait. Yeah, sour, starchy, sweet, sorry. A lot of S's, you know? Um, all right, there we go. So now we got our four tester treats for the four S's. Now remember, we did the four F's the first time. Now we're going to do the four S's the second time. Uh, sorry if it's confusing that I'm using the same variables for different flavors. Um, again, you're more than welcome to do, like, different variables, like GHJK or something different if it will make you, uh, you know, not as confused. So now we're just going to do the exactly what we did last time. Um, but what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go back up here, go back to our system and actually erase these values. So I'm not confused because um, if I don't do that, then I will think I gave uh, Oliver the type of treat and I might get the wrong value. So now we're cleared out. So let's go back in with Oliver and go ahead and give him these second round of tester treats. Um, so first one, savory, sour, starchy. Meh. So that's going to be a zero, which will go right there. Okay. Next one. 
savory, sour, sweet, savory, sour, sweet, meh. Ah, not looking good. So let's go here, put another zero, another treat. Uh, savory, starchy, sweet, savory, savory, starchy, sweet, savory, starchy, sweet. There you are. A yum. Okay, that's good. Alrighty. So we got a yum. And last but not least, sour, starchy, sweet. Sour, starchy, sour, starchy, sweet. There you are. Oh, and that is a negative. Now, I'm actually glad we got a negative because now we run into a problem. Um, the downside to this method is that this system cannot understand that there could be two possible values for an equation. So we cannot put in, we can't just type in negative one or negative two. Um, and substituting tends to give you the wrong answers, if that makes sense. So here's what we're gonna do instead. We can do four different flavors. And even though we know that there's a favorite flavor um, in one of the four S's, it's totally okay because we're gonna do um, the last four, which we'll go back to the tree finding guide and will be fruity, grainy, leafy, veggie. And once we find at least one other favorite flavor in those four, then we can use two favorite flavors to find the last two favorite flavors. It'll make more sense once I get there, but so what we're gonna do is we're gonna switch uh, to this last section, fruity, grainy, leafy, veggie. And the best thing about using this last method is we already know the value for fruity. Uh, I'm not gonna write that in anywhere, but just keep in mind, we already know the value for fruity. So let's go ahead and start back from making our tester treats. And this time, I don't have a name for this section. Uh, I kind of use this section as like my extra ingredients because they're all ingredients from the garden. So I tend to have a plenty of these ingredients. Um, but yeah, so our four flavors is fruity, grainy, leafy, veggie. And the first treat is gonna be fruity, grainy, leafy. So fruity, grainy, leafy. Make. And then fruity, fruity, thank you. Fruity, grainy, veggie. And then fruity, leafy, veggie. And then we got grainy, leafy, veggie. Okay. All right. So now we got our last set of tester treats. So we'll go ahead and go back to Oliver. Wait, actually, let me make sure I cleared out. Um, yeah, see, I almost did not clear this out. So let me go ahead and do that because if I don't, like I said, I will forget. All right, there we go. Now we can feed all of our these testers. All righty. So first one, fruity, grainy, leafy. Fruity, grainy, fruity, grainy, leafy. There we go. Uh, there we go. Hey, two. All right, a lot better. All right, so let's put two here and let's go back in. Wait, wrong tab. Okay, so next one we got fruity, grainy, veggie. Fruity, fruity, grainy, veggie. Meh, okay. And the third one will be fruity, leafy, veggie. So fruity, Fruity, leafy. I can be very blind when I'm trying to look through my treats. Fruity, leafy, veggie. Fruity, leafy, veggie. There you go. I told you. Alrighty. Meh. Okay. Alrighty. And the last one 
is grainy leafy veggie. Oops, wrong tab. Okay. Grainy leafy veggie. Grainy, grainy leafy veggie? Grainy leafy veggie. Okay. All right. One yum. I like this. I love positive numbers, and I think everybody else does too. So there we go. And this is sol sol solvable. God, I can't speak. And there we go. So, uh, once again, we have our, um, this, these are the equations we put in, and across the semicolon, we got our answers, which, what this tells us is C is a favorite, and B is a favorite. And if we go back to our key, uh, I'm looking at my paper, but you can um, refer back to the tree finding key. Um, C is leafy, so leafy is a favorite, and B is grainy, and that's a favorite. And also this shows us, because there's a negative one, that D is a hated flavor, um, and D is veggie. Sorry, I just hit my mic just now. So, I'm going to go ahead and write that down, so I do not forget. Um, yes, B, grainy, and... Uh, and C is leafy. Now, I do know that if you're trying to follow along and you have a horse that probably does not have the same exact favorite treats as Oliver, you're going to have a little bit of a different path. Um, my recommendation, so you're not stuck, like how we did here, is if you get any, um, you know, if your horse refuses any treats, um, just don't do those four flavors. Um, you'll see now why we can skip if there's negative flavors because we did a different, um, combination of flavors and we got two favorite flavors out of it. So now what we have, um, at least in Oliver's case, I have his so far three favorite flavors out of the four, which is fibers, grainy, leafy. So now all I have to do is go back into um, where we can give Oliver some treats. Um, I'm sorry, I should say where I can craft some treats. And these are going to be our final treats. Um, we're going to use these to find the last flavor. So how we do this is we're going to go ahead and craft, um, um, you know, three ingredient treats again. But this time we're going to just make two of the known favorite flavors. So right now I have fibers, grain, leafy. I think I'm going to do grainy leafy because I have plenty of those ingredients. Um, but then we're going to do uh, the four flavors we couldn't do before because of negative number. So that's going to be our four S's. Uh, savory, sour, starchy, sweet. So all I'm going to do is go one by one. So uh, I'm just going to make a grainy, leafy, savory. Now what I'm looking for is I know that these are his two favorite flavors. So if I get two yums, I know that it's just a meh flavor. If I get one yum, it's hated. And if I get three yums, it's a favorite flavor. And right now we're testing savory. So let's go go here. So savory, leafy, grainy. Leafy, grainy are his favorites. Savory is what we're testing. And sure as heck, that was the first flavor. And it ended up being his favorite. Now... Just to show you, um, so bottom line, Oliver's favorite flavor is fibrous, grainy, leafy, savory. Um, if savory wasn't his favorite flavor, you would have gotten like either two yums or just one yum. So just to double check, we'll go ahead and make this fibrous, grainy, leafy, savory treat. Um, yep, that's it. Alrighty, and that was his favorite. So, basically, long story short, this guy just shows you how to use Equation Solver to find your horse's favorite treat. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to comment them below. Sorry if I was very boring and very messy. Um, I don't usually make YouTube videos, but I appreciate you still watching. Also, 
huge props to Pathfinder for actually figuring out how to algebraically find your horse's favorite treats without their work. We wouldn't be able to, you know, use an equation solver to find a horse's favorite treat. So feel free to use this method if you just really don't want to use math. Um, and if you're a fellow tree finder, you know, I'm sorry. I am willing to panhandle with you in the center of the world uh, for gold dust because I put all of us out of business. But I just want to say thank you once again for watching. And let me know if you have any questions. And I say toodaloo.